Okay, guys, let's just turn our attention over to here quickly. I've got a guy. We're here. Okay. Yeah. There he is. Okay. Right. I've got a guy here. He stands about this tall. He's got glasses on. It gives me the name of David or Davison. It feels to me here that what I've got here is an energy of, of a guy that either he's medical or it feels to me. It's almost like he's a. Uh, Thank you. It's almost like he, he was like, a, not a surgeon, but he would have looked at stuff and studied stuff. Do you understand what I mean? Like he would have looked at uh, um, dealing with uh, blood samples and things like that, but he wasn't actually a surgeon himself. So he dealt with bits and pieces like that. But I've got this energy here. It's almost like he's saying, you shouldn't be in here. You shouldn't be in here. Out, out, out. So all the way through here, and it's not the same guy that's up there, so there's a different energy up there, but this guy is on, I hope. Wait. What got, what got burned? Where was the fire? Something about the fire here? Can you understand about the fire here? I can, yeah. Well, okay. He's talking about the fire here and something being modernised and changed. Do you understand this? Yeah. Okay, right. Uh, sorry, do you want to just step forward a bit? This is our historian of the, of the, who runs the place. So basically, sorry, what's your name? Kerry. Kerry, that's it. Right, Kerry's here and she knows a lot about the place. There's a fire here. I feel like I want to go that way. Yeah. I want to go down that way where the fire is. So there's this, I didn't pick this up last time, but I'm picking it up this time. There's like a different energy there. But this guy's telling me about this. This guy's telling me about all the fire and the changes down here. Who? I've got a Scottish guy there. I've got a Scottish connection with the guy on the stairs there. He's standing there, he's the, he's the guard. He's either like a security guard, and he's there again. Quite a biggish man, uh, with, a, with a bald head, or, or receding hair. Oh! The aneurysm, I've got the aneurysm, the chest fell down on the stairs. Okay. Who? Why, why are you saying Sarah and giving me Sarah and pointing me to the direction of Sarah? Like that way. Oh, right, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he says he's standing, he's just moved, he's standing behind him, Sarah, Sarah there. Uh, but I, what? Alright. I don't know if this is heavily bombed around here or something, but I'm hearing like. I'm hearing like doodle bugs and things coming down across here, so this would have been. Almost a feeling of energy that's come into the building on like a, a war basis that was used. Offices. Who? I'm actually looking at this guy here was something to do at that time period or around that time period. And I'm looking at officers walking through here. Almost like, you know, uh, important. Not just general uh, army. This is, we're talking about officers and, and guys that are in uniform, but they're not in uniform. They're not wearing the hat and that. They've just got their shirts sleeves rolled up and they're, they're walking around doing office stuff. Who? George. George. Down there. Okay. We've got to go down that way because I'm being pulled down that way. But remember here, when you walk around this bit, especially here to take pictures, also around the back, because people had spotted dark energies around the back here when we was last here. So around the back there as well. This guy down here, whoever he is, he never shows himself to me. But uh, there you go. So overall though, at the moment, the energy doesn't feel like it's built right up. It hasn't energised itself yet. But it's good. It's good. Because this guy here, I'm sure this is the guy I picked up before. Little guy. Glasses. Little guy glasses that was here before. There's also a French connection. Something to do with France. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if he come from, or there was a, a history of where he come from before, or where he lived, or where he had a connection with France. I don't think it's to do with the building as such, but there's a connection to France somewhere. And also America. So there's American links here as well. 
and that might well be to do with the energy of the army as well, and things like that. Do you understand what I mean? So there's yeah. all this army. Do you understand the American League? There is an American League, yeah. And it's to do with who? Well, that's, no, that's, there's, there's also, I think, something to the Abraham Lincoln as well, or well, there's connections to Abraham Lincoln. Right, okay. So you understand that the connection with Abraham Lincoln coming which is miles away from America. So, yeah, it's a bit strange for me. So, guys, um, remember here a lot of activity through this bit. Let's go into the next bit and uh, let's we'll see. Go up we again? Which one, no? We are in the fourth row. No, you'll be all right. What a flat game. It's meant to be cold up here. It's cold. I think it's going to be cold. I mean, I like to the bank of things. I mean, it's quite cold up here. You would expect that heat would rise, but. There is, there is a few reasons why it's cold. It's cold. I bet you Okay, up here guys, especially up where the door is, when we first walk in, I've got three children up here, okay, um, there's a boy standing up that end and he's saying I'm Thomas, I'm Thomas, she just got that down there. yeah I'm Thomas, I got that down there. did you, yeah. Yeah, he's standing up there, the boy looks around 12, 13 years old, um, I would say that he's dressed pretty much in the energy of, I don't know, late 1800s dress. That's what it looks like to me. Uh, he's got, you know like the, the shorts that go down to the knee? Yeah. He's got them, but he's got like socks on. He's quite well dressed. There's two girls up here as well. Emily, Emily. Okay, we've got Emily up here as well. Who? I didn't get the other one, say that again. Oh, Wendy, Wendy. So we've got Emily and Wendy and Thomas, okay? And they're all up here. Now, the feeling is, is that they, they pretty much were kept up here, but they're not like under their thing, but they would have stayed up here or played up here. So this might would have been their playroom or somewhere where they would have come up here just to get out of the way or be away from, from their parents because it was almost like seeing but not heard and go and play up there. Do you understand what I mean? And that's, that's the feeling that I get with here. Where? <coughs> yeah, I, 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 I don't know if uh, Kerry's still here. Kerry, are you up here? I am. They said they're, they're not allowed to go to the ballroom. The, ballroom. the ballroom. Yeah, that's the room we just come from, was used as ballroom. Right, because they're not, they weren't allowed in the ballroom. Okay, that was used for meetings, mm -hmm. I'm being told. And it, I don't know if anyone's ever heard. Can I just bring Kerry down? Sorry, Kerry, can I just bring you down, darling? Um, can, can you understand where people have heard children's laughter up here? Like a giggling. Yes. Yeah? Because this is what I get again. It's <laughs> giggling sort of feel. And I've got two girls here, one Wendy, one Emily, and I've got this Thomas as well. Um, I feel that a lot of people have caught that energy, but I'm getting a lot of activity down this end as well. So you're going to get it up and down here. Yeah. Not on a poltergeist feel, or, or, but then you get this sound of, or, or echo of voice vibration coming through. So that's what you're going to pick up here. So remember guys, I think this is going to be a great one for anyone that's got listening equipment to sit up here and we're going to, I think we'll leave a few people up here on their own, okay, a group of three or four. Um, to see what they can pick up while they're up here. Uh, so that would be a good one. And also, uh, we'll, they can do a, 
and probably do a Ouija board up here as well because the kids like to, to, to be active and I've got a feeling here as well that if we put some balls on the floor or something they might have a little roll around. So I feel that they're quite playful up here. Lovely energy of children. I get them very, very sort of well to do. So they, they you know, they're not mischief, but they, they know they know that they want to be sort of played with because at the end of the day they weren't allowed to sort of commune down with the other people. So it was up here on their own. Good energies from them, but children definitely up here more than adults. There you go, guys. So listen out for the children because you're going to hear them giggling, hopefully. <laughs>